Hey folks, welcome to Soft Plastics 101. What a cracker day on the water. I just wanted to introduce you to paddle tail plastics today and just talk a bit about the way they're designed and how we fish them when we're out there on the water. So our paddle tail plastic, as it name, its name would suggest, the tail on the plastic is flat, like a paddle. And as you retrieve that through the water, that tail catches the water and that's what gives the plastic its action. So it'll get a paddle tail and it'll also get some body roll into the plastic as well and look like a bait fish. So basically we want to make that paddle tail look like a bait fish that's swimming, feeding, fleeing, trying to get away from the predatory species. So that's the whole objective with a, a paddle tail plastic is to represent the bait fish that's in the water. So you might look around and try and see the bait that's in the water and go, gee, the bait's tiny out there. I'll switch to a tiny plastic or gee, there's a lot of big mullet and that around in the water. So I'm going to upsize it to a mullet style profile. So we might try and match the hatch. We also might try and match the hatch in terms of color real clear day, clear bait fish, we're going to match that colour. Geez, they don't want to eat it. Well, let's try something else and try and make that plastic stand out so it doesn't look like what's out there and see if we can get a strike that way. So you can mix and change it around a bit. So paddle tails, one of my favourite just because they are so effective and a lot of the waterways that I fish, I fish a lot of salt water um, where there's a lot of bait fish in the system, be it mullet, whiting, herring, all of those types of things. So here's a few different types and then we'll have a look at how we generally fish them. So that's a Slim Swims in a two and a half inch and a three inch. And you can see that's got a fairly large paddle tail on it, but also that paddle tail is underhooked. And what that does is it grabs the water. So it gives this little tiny plastic a lot of tail action. And it's led to a lot of different species getting caught on it from big stuff down to small stuff. So you can see if I'm chasing brim and smaller fish, that's the perfect sort of size paddle tail for them. But then in the same system, there could be giant herring, tarpon, and other things that are feeding on tiny bait. So that tiny little plastic paddle tail can actually be used effectively to imitate bait that bigger fish are feeding on as well. So keep an eye out what's going on in the water. So that's a two and a half inch, and that's a three and a half, inch, a three inch slim swims. Popular for bass, popular for flathead, popular for brim, and went, won a lot of brim tournaments already, that little plastic. Step up a bit, and we've got another Z-Man plastic here that's got the underhook tail. That's called the trick swims. And you can see how, because that plastic's so soft and flexible, that tail is so limp, and that really allows that tail to come to life in the water. The underhook tail will grab the water, get that body rail, get that crazy tail action happening. Two of the most popular in the range, three inch minnows, and four inch diesel minnows. And they're a great plastic in the estuary for mangrove jack, Barramundi, Flathead, Trevally, almost anything will eat a three inch minnows or a four inch diesel. They've got a fin on the top that's a split fin, so you can weedless rig them really easily and tuck that hook away in there. And there's also a good belly slot on the diesel minnow as well, which makes rigging easier. But they're two really popular. You can see that could be a little potty mullet, little whiting, you know. There's your mullet. There's a lot of, lot of fish species that will feed on that three and four inch profile. So check those out. Step it up and we've got a different sort of style of tail. That's the swimmers and it's got a really big flat tail on it, which allows you to fish it really slow and still get loads of body roll and tail action out of that. That's probably one of the most popular jack plastics you can get your hands on is the four inch swimmers. And the six inch swimmers is an excellent plastic for barramundi. But also guys will fish it with a heavy jig head offshore as well and get that down and around the reef for, for coral trout and all sorts of different species. The last one I've got here with me, Check out that weapon. So that is an eight inch mag swims. And that's perfect for big barra in the impoundments, big barra in the creeks and those sorts of things. Also any other large predatory species that's feeding on bait fish. That's a big placky with a, an underhook tail. So lots of action in that. So there you go. That's one of my favorite types of soft plastics. Paddle tail, ideal for imitating a bait fish. I'll show you how to fish them. Okay, so a paddle tail soft plastic. You can see that paddle tail there, lots of action in the tail and it also gives the plastic body roll. Three retrieves that I like to use when fishing a paddle tail. Say I'm out on the flats or I'm fishing over the top of weed or oysters or other structure, or if I'm chasing fish that feed higher in the water column, I'll do what we call a slow roll. So I just flick that plastic out and the slow roll is simply just a slow wind of the reel. So you'll find as you fish more and more and more, you'll find out what the fish like or even what they like on the day. So just that slow wind back is what we call a slow roll, deadly on barra and deadly on brim across the flats and a stack of different species. But basically we're just keeping that plastic moving, keeping that tail working. So that's a, that's a slow roll.
just a slow wind back. You can wind it really close to the bottom, you can wind it up in the water column more. One way of finding out sort of what depth you're in, you can flick that plastic out, watch it sink to the bottom, count it down, one, two, three, four, five, boom, we're on the bottom, it'll stop and go slack. So if we want to stay above the bottom, cast out again, one, two, three, four, start that wind and keep it up above the bottom. Another that we use is called a burn and kill. So we flick that plastic out and the burn and kill is basically the burn is your wind, the kill is your pause. Burning, killing, burning, killing. So you can vary the speed of that burn and the duration of that burn and you can also uh, vary the duration of your pause, your kill. Vary the duration of the kill, vary the burn, vary, oh, oh, got a rattle then. That was pretty cool. So that's the burn and kill. So it's a great one for kids, you know, you get the kids to throw it out there or you throw it out there. Sometimes I, I like to put on for the kids just one size heavier head than I use myself and I get them to burn and kill it. I get them to go, but uh, wind, 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 one, two, three. Wind, 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 one, two, three. Wind, wind, it'll drive you absolutely nuts. Get them to do it in their head. And it's amazing how many fish they'll catch just doing that wind, 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 one, two, three. And probably the most popular retrieve with a paddle tail, flick that plastic out there. And it's generally just called hopping a plastic. So we'll get that line tight, give it a couple of hops. I like to just give it two hops, allow the plastic to settle on the bottom again, hop that plastic, pause that plastic, hit the bottom, hop that plastic. Ah. Had me there with a bit of weed but that's hopping the plastic so we hop that plastic up off the bottom like it's a fleeing bait fish hop 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 fleeing pause it swims back down to the bottom again ideal for flathead mulloway snapper lots of different species like to see that plastic hopped up in front of them and then paused again i also generally recommend to people when you're fishing plastics it's a good idea to cast up current and bring the plastic back naturally with the tide if you try and bring the pl plastic back against the current it often just gets lifted up out of the strike zone and away from where the fish are. So we'll hop that plastic, give it a pause, let it hit the bottom, hop that plastic, give it a pause, and then hopefully we get ourselves a couple of fish. So there you go. That is burn and kill, hopping, and slow rolling our paddle tail plastic. Get out there.